Yeah, I was letting it's you It's Jake and Joy with Cook with Jake and Joy and Derek. And this is our seventh season of cooking, of, of taping a cooking show. Yeah. I mean, we, in the beginning, it was just me. And then Jake, got, Jake got joined in. And this is actually her second season of actually being on camera with me. And what's great is that she's gotten much better at cooking. And I think that when you start to pay attention to... Um, stuff like this, then you, you start to cook more. Do more and, yeah. and we'd love to yeah. know if that's happening for you. If you've been watching our show, because I, I hear this from people a lot, that they um, that they started cooking because they just like watching our show because it's kind of fun and entertaining. And, and I think also, like I think people who don't cook think that cooking is hard or complicated. And so some of, some of our, when you can see some recipes that aren't so complicated, like we have some really pretty simple ones, you're like, oh, I could totally do that. Yeah. And you start there. Right. Yeah. Like today is kind of an assembling um, thing. And that's really where you started out was yeah, assembling. assembling. assembling yeah. Her husband's a really good cook so it's really easy to let someone else do the cooking it was interesting because I was gone last week and my one of my good friends um, had a, a younger friends had a baby and they had a meal train and uh, my husband I said to my husband I said you're gonna have to make something because he used to cook when we <laughs> yeah. first got together yeah. and so he actually made this whole dinner and he was so proud of himself and he oh. went over and plated the whole thing Cute. so you get forced into this position it's like it really is a sense of, of pride and accomplishment yeah. and not just like oh I've got to do this yeah so um, today we're gonna make a really fun 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 uh, it's not really we're, a dish we're not really even gonna make it and we're not gonna make it we're just gonna, we're gonna tell walk you, you through we're just gonna it. tell you about it because yeah. it's we've been yeah it's it you're gonna really like this it's really easy so um, growing up having a taco bar was something that I loved doing mm -hmm. we had those hard crispy shells that were shaped you know yeah. like tacos and my mom would fry up some ground beef and we've had cheese and sour cream ground beef smileys yeah and just you know like like that was kind of all we had I grew up in the Midwest I never saw an avocado until I left home yeah um, so I didn't we didn't have that we didn't really even cut up tomatoes it was just like Salsa, ground beef, and cheese, and maybe sour cream, and maybe mm -hmm. some cut-up lettuce. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe that, that was what you'd have. But now, when I look at having a taco bar, I look at, like, this, all this stuff that you can put on it. Mm -hmm. And so we're going we're gonna to talk you through some of that yeah. right and now. And one thing I just thought of is that you could also do this as a potato bar. Because this is all yes. stuff that we would put onto a baked potato yes. as well. So yes. that's kind of cool, too. So if you like, if, if you, because you know, some people are like, I want to have a baked potato, but all you put on it is butter, sour cream, or whatever, but you right. can put all of this stuff on a baked potato and it's so awesome. So right. this could be either taco bar or potato bar. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. There's a lot of good value in potatoes as well. Um, and this is another thing about, like, we've done in this in this season, we've been doing some, like, how can you make something when you don't have anything? Well, this is all stuff that you can have in your fridge or your freezer. Um, some of it has to be fresher if you're going to make it, you know, like, like be, like, really fresh at, at the time. So we're going to walk you through all that. First of all, we're going to start off with tortillas, right? And because we're gluten-free, we're gonna get all corn tortillas. Now you can get like these blue ones, these are really cute. This is non-GMO corn. That is super, super important because GMO corn is nasty. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are confused about GMO. Um, yeah. Like they think that there's so many things that are GMO, but in actuality there aren't. There's just corn, um, soy, uh, in this country, anyway, a lot of people get confused about hybridization and GMO. Right, they're, they're, they're two the different same, things. Right. Yeah, yeah, you were going to say something. Oh, well, it's not related to GMO. I was going to say, when you're shopping for corn tortillas, make sure that you check to see if they have wheat in them because they won't say they won't say gluten free or they won't say they won't say anything, and you'll assume oh they're corn, so you assume that they're gluten free. But a lot of times, corn tortillas do have gluten in them, so make sure to be if you are sensitive, make sure to be mindful of that. What I love about this is it says naturally gluten free, which there are a lot of products that are just naturally gluten free. This only has three ingredients: it has corn, lime, and salt. That's awesome. That's I, it. Need one, I need to get this. Yeah, and you can get they had another one that that that's like called something tiger, and they're actually hand made right here and I love those but I do yeah. like that these are blue so that's really great yeah. so that's so you you probably want to start with the with the taco or, or a tortilla, lettuce wrap or, if you want. or a lettuce wrap or just shredded lettuce and have it in a bowl like you a do salad. at Chipotle so yeah. once again um, using your own lettuce off of your own vertical growing system if you want to know more about these just message us and we'll send you information about how you can grow your own produce all year round no matter where you live we've got an yeah. indoor version and an outdoor yeah. version okay so then you do so you have your tortilla then you would most likely do beans probably beans next yeah so so there's a bunch yeah. of different kinds of beans that you might want to use. I personally, when I make a, a taco um, yeah. or a tostada, I like yeah. having refried beans. And these yeah. are both not black beans. That yeah, and you want, you want to make sure that you get um, the the vegan, the veg vegan ones. They make vegetarian, vegan ones. The vegetarian ones, yeah, I think I can't remember if they say vegan or vegeta vegetarian because they'll have lard in them otherwise. 
Now this one does not have lard in it. Perfect. So and it doesn't say vegetarian. Right. So you have to. So you have to kind of. You know, make yeah. Sure. Typically, the, the pin, refried pinto beans are almost always. If you get like the traditional brands, are almost always have lard. Yeah. Lard so you can use. You can use the refried ones, which I really like. That's and what I, I like too. And I love that these are refried black beans. Yeah. There used to be the Three Sisters brand that we were using, oh, yeah. and now I can't find them very much anymore. I think they got bought out by somebody. Okay. Probably their competitors. Yeah. So I don't see those very often. But you can also get canned. These are. This is a non BPA lining. You can also get the Tetra packs, which we now can't recycle here in Santa Barbara, which sucks. Yeah. So um, I don't know which is better to use they're both um, they're both uh, BPA free but I like to use pinto beans as well I know you don't like them as well but yeah, I, I like black beans I even but... like white beans the cannellinis I like those a lot yeah. so 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 beans might be next and then, then you'd probably do the meat you might want to have some kind of a faux meat yeah. And there's a lot of choices when you go to faux meat. I really, um, I was at Trader Joe's the other day, and you know how they always do those snacks? I almost can never eat them because they usually have gluten right. in them or dairy or something that I'm not going to eat. Right. But this was really cool. They did this on, on corn chips, and they did this, they used their beefless ground beef and their soy chorizo. And both of these are gluten free and vegan. And th what they did is they mixed them with these diced fire roasted chili, organic tomatoes. And also they added green chili. So now you're getting like all of this benefit mm -hmm. in the, you know, in the, yeah. in the actual meat. It's not yeah. just like, oh, it's, it's satisfying. And right. I just want you to know, like what, I think this is like $1.99 or $2.99. Yeah. Versus buying the Beyond Meat, which um, this is like $7. Ridiculous. Yeah. So this is a lot less expensive and they're both, yeah, both gluten free. But I have stock in this, so keep buying right. <laughs> Yeah, this I is think, a great option. I think option. I have stock in this. I'm not sure. This, is a, this is a really great option. Yeah, yeah. That, so that's a great option for the. So you would put these all out. So let's show, you want to have pretty dishes to put stuff in because that makes it more appealing to mm -hmm. people to eat. So you'd arrange everything on these lovely plates. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'd even have like I have friends that have um, like dishes that are that are divided. In fact, I think I have one up there. And there, so you make the thing look really beautiful. So after the meat, then what would you put on? You'd probably put maybe put some corn on. Yeah, so corn, fresh corn. I know some people like to use frozen you can, corn. You can, or and you can corn. use can, like if you're like trying to have stuff on hand, you can get cans of corn and get make sure. And I like to make when I buy canned anything, I like to make I like to get the cleanest one. I like the ones that are like the 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 vegetable, water, and salt. And like that's what I well, like free, to do. Frozen vegetables are the next best thing to fresh. Yeah. So if you're looking, so if you're looking, it's frozen is the better one to do. But if you have yeah. to have cans, then cans are, are yeah. cool too. But fresh is really good. This is not the best time of year to be buying fresh corn. I think these were like over a dollar a piece, yeah. but yeah. that's okay. I mean, yeah. when you think about it, like being able to make this dish, like if I was making steak, it would be so much more expensive right. or even ground beef. Right. And then I want to get some lettuce on this one way or another. I would probably have either whole Whole leaves like this for people who want to use that instead of the tortilla, but yeah. I also have some that would just dice up. up. And then, yeah, and then, and then last week we had um, like mixed greens, and that was really yeah, good. Yeah, that was a good mixture yeah. on taco. Then you might put some tomatoes and some onion, so you can we let you know. You could have yellow onion, or you red, could have red, red onion. You, want. Um, you could have some shreds, some uh, different uh, faux, faux cheese. cheese shred, and then, and then of course, you have to have guacamole, guacamole. obviously. Gua the, gua it's that, the guac is extra. Yeah, and, and salsa, and, and salsa. Yes, yeah. and yeah. I love this fresh salsa. This is actually made by a friend of mine. Um, Trader Joe's has it packaged in their packaging, but this is my friend David Hernandez. This was his mother's recipe, cool. and he still makes this. So he he hand roasts all the peppers that go into this. It's like it's such. If you've oh never had gosh. this, it's really good. Yeah. And then our local Ralph's makes awesome guacamole. Yeah. They're all um, a lot of the guys that work there are Hispanic, yeah. and they're bragging to me about their guacamole. Yeah. But in a pinch, these little packs that you get, I like these because the holy it's, guacamole. It's and it's yeah. just a squish of of guacamole, so you don't have to like worry about. You know, is it going right. to go bad? Because once I open that container, you guys are going to have to help me eat that because right. I don't want right. it to go bad. And then you might want to have some chips on hand too. I really, once again, like the blue corn. So you're going to have this whole thing be laid out. This would be a great uh, thing to do for a Super Bowl or for the Academy. And kids um, love it. Yeah. Kids love like, stuff like this. Yeah. And what's, what I like about it is that people who aren't vegan don't even know that they're not right. eating, that they're not getting meat. They're yeah. just like, oh, it's a taco bar. I mean, there's so many, like, so many ethnic foods 
lend themselves so well yeah. to, to not being centered around a big piece of meat. Right. The other thing that I was thinking too is if you were going to go somewhere that they were, you knew they were going to have tacos or have taco bar and you didn't, you, they weren't going to be automatically providing a non, non meat option. You could just bring a pack, you could bring a pack of this with you and then the rest of it would work. So you could just, you, all you could do is just bring, you could even cook it ahead of time. If you even well, they might like, have cheese and sour cream out, but you don't have to put you that on. You could just skip, yeah, skip that. But the beans yeah. and the corn, like the walk, all that stuff would still, would you'd still want yeah. to put on. And what you want to notice is that everything that's going in, like every single piece of this has something beneficial for you in it. Yeah. You know, it's not like, oh, it's not bad for me. It's actually really good for yeah. you. So yeah. that is our tip of the day, our episode of the day, our non-cooking cooking show. Yeah, we were like, there's nothing to measure. Like, you're just going to watch us dump it all together. So, yeah. so there's put no it in the measurements. You, get to, you just get to choose how you're making it. We're giving you some tips about the brand names that we like and uh, just some suggestions. I think you're going to like this. It it's makes for a really great after, like, say you've got your kids at sports events, and that used to happen for us all the time when Jake was in school. And like, you get home, and what can you pull together fast? You can pull this together fast, or it would even be a great thing to have the whole team come over yeah, and, and satisfy them. So it'd be true. a great deal. So, yeah. what do you think, Derek? Love it. You like Love it? it. Let's eat it. Let's eat it. All right. <laughs> Bye, you guys. That's it for this episode. We'll see you next week on another episode of Cook with Jake and Joy. <laughs> Bye.